Hello and welcome to one more review of our little prayer house here, Oratory. We did do another, well, two previous videos and they were not that serious, but this one will hopefully be a bit more serious, a bit more informative. Uh, the basic point of having one of these is to have a place to pray, to do spiritual exercises, uh, to, to write down your thoughts, or to, to do things that you like to do with a certain amount of um, guaranteed solitude. Uh, it's basically a place where you don't want to be disturbed and the reason that is good for prayer is that it helps towards recollection because you can't pray very well uh, if you're not really recollected because it does take concentration um, to get into prayer and to actually enjoy it and to feel the fruit of praying and being engaged in spiritual exercises such as reading, uh, reading about virtue, reading about the saints, uh, reading the Bible, you know, reading your catechism, reading theology. Um, it's nice to be able to have the atmosphere to do that in, uh, a place where you're not, you're just not disturbed, you're not, um, there aren't things sort of buzzing around you, uh, there aren't there isn't this thing in the back of your mind telling you, oh, somebody could come in any minute and that could disturb me. And you live on a high level of expectancy when you are in a house. By that I mean that you're expecting things to happen. I mean, the, um, the door, someone could be at the door, somebody could uh, come across you and just say, do you want to do this? Do you want to go here? Do you want to do that? Or they could ask you to, to do something which is fine, you know, there is always a time to, to help around the house, to do things, to say hello to people coming in the door. Um, but there is also a time for prayer, a time to be in solitude. Uh, and it is important because otherwise you could actually have a loathing for the interior life and for prayer because for a start there's nowhere to do it. I don't feel that I'm in the in the correct sort of environment or atmosphere and therefore why should I do it and it is very easy to get carried away with endless distractions and to come to the end of the day and think well I didn't really do anything much towards my spiritual life so the spiritual writers you know the saints they all advise uh, somebody who wants to make progress in the spiritual life you know physical solitude is is basically a must. You must have a certain amount of that, if it's possible at all. Um, it's just very, very difficult to make progress when you don't have somewhere like this. Thanks for watching.